from foul smelling toxic plants to a fungus that looks like pastry, here are 14 bizarre plants and weird fungi. Thanks to Fiker for taking the plunge and subscribing to Epic Wildlife. Well done! And if you like the content, be sure to like and subscribe. We're checking out some alternate organisms, so to speak, this time around. So let us know how we did! Indigo Milk Cap If you didn't know better, you'd almost think this is some sort of brilliantly colored satellite dish. But the distinctive shape and color belong to a mushroom that is found from North and Central America to East Asia. It contains a latex, or milk, that is secreted when the mushroom's tissue is broken. The latex is also colored indigo blue, but once exposed to air, it turns to green. They're edible mushrooms, but the blue color fades when cooked, and eventually turns gray. They're said to have a taste that is described as either bitter or peppery, depending on the source. Sundews These are among the larger carnivorous plants, with nearly 200 species described so far. They capture and digest their insect prey by luring them with their tentacles, which have glands covering the surface. The glands secrete a thick substance called mucilage, which traps the prey. The plant's name stems from these glistening droplets of mucilage that look like drops of morning dew. Some species of this plant have tentacles that can essentially snap when prey disturbs them. The appendages will rapidly coil up, then snap forward and bend inward to bring the prey into contact with as many of the stalked glands as is possible. Did you know that sundew plants have been used for medicinal purposes since at least the 12th century? In addition to cough suppressants, the plants have been used to treat sunburn, toothaches, and asthma. Carnivorous pitcher plant. Their jug-like appearance is a clue to the name of this vegetation. Pitcher plants secrete a nectar along their rim, which serves to attract prey like insects and the occasional amphibian. But a new species discovered at the summit of Mount Victoria in the Philippines has a taste for rodents. The creatures are lured into the mouth of the bell-shaped pitcher. Once trapped, they eventually drown in the plant's digestive enzymes, which dissolves them while they're still alive. This species is one of the largest varieties of pitcher plants, and was named after the broadcaster and naturalist Sir David Attenborough. False morels. If you're a connoisseur of mushrooms, you likely know that the morel mushroom, or morcella, is considered the caviar of fungi. They're known for their honeycomb appearance and are in high demand by gourmet cooks worldwide for their unique flavor. That's led to a multi-million dollar industry specializing in the commercial harvesting of wild morels. But sometimes other species of lookalike mushrooms are cultivated, which are called false morels. While they are members of the same order, several types can prove to be toxic although some are more so than others. Some of the less toxic specimens are often regarded as delicacies in Nordic countries, where they are rinsed and boiled repeatedly. Even with that preparation, false morels can retain toxins that provoke symptoms including vomiting, cardiac paralysis, and death. So avoiding the false mushrooms would seem to be the true morel of the story. Wrinkled Peach Mushroom As much as it might look like a withered fruit, it can also bear a disturbing resemblance to the human heart. But it's worth mentioning that its appearance can vary, according to the amount and quality of lighting the mushroom receives during its juvenile stage. Shapes and colors can also resemble the human stomach, or even a lung. The reddish-orange coloration is due to sap that's been forced up through the roots of the wrinkled peach to seep through its pores. And while it's referred to as a peach, its bitter taste makes it inedible. It normally grows in clusters on rotting hardwood trees like maples and elms, and are found throughout much of Europe and North America. Kissing Plant This one has a number of names, but whatever you want to call it, it certainly resembles a pair of puckered up lips. The bracts, or modified leaves, which resemble the bright red lips, will eventually spread open to let the plant flowers emerge. The unusual shape is said to attract pollinators like butterflies and hummingbirds. They're found in the rainforests of several Central and South American countries, including Panama and Costa Rica. Hey, we found one source to refer to this as the Mick Jagger plant. Can you think of any other clever names for it? Wood ear. The jelly-like fish of this fungus does bear a resemblance to the human organ. It even has very fine hairs and a series of irregular veins. But these ears aren't made of wood. Their name is inspired by the fact that the fungus grows on trees, where they can grow in groups, so they're also known as tree ears. In Japan and China, the edible fungus has been used for centuries as a delicacy, and for medicinal purposes for thousands of years. It's said to have beneficial effects for those affected by anything from lung infections to high blood pressure, and even cancer. Honorable mention, Venus flytrap. This is arguably the best known organism on the list, plant or fungus, if you're judging by brand awareness anyway. 
The carnivorous plant is native to the U.S. and is known to have an appetite for insects and spiders. Its trapping structure is formed by portions of the plant's leaves. It starts to close when prey-like insects crawl along the leaves and contacts a hair, which triggers the process. The fly trap only snaps shut when a second contact is triggered, within 20 seconds of the first. The redundant triggering mechanism ensures that no energy is wasted by capturing prey that has no nutritional value. Did you know the plant requires an additional five stimuli to determine the bug is alive and worthy to be digested? Corpse flower. Raphalicia arnoldii is native to the rainforests of Indonesia and measuring around three feet in diameter. It's known as the world's largest flower. It's also known as the corpse flower. That's because the plant emits a stench similar to rotting flesh which serves to attract flies that pollinate the plant. Did you know the corpse flower does not have chlorophyll, nor does it produce leaves, roots, or stems? Titan arum. This imposing looking plant can reach heights of around 10 feet tall, making it one of the tallest flowering plants in the world. It's also known as a carrion flower, or a corpse plant, because of the foul stench it emits, which is similar to that of a rotting carcass or corpse. The smell serves to attract pollinators including flesh flies, carrion beetles, or other insects that feed off dead animals or lay their eggs in rotten meat. The Titan arum plant is native only to western Sumatra, where they grow wild on limestone hills in the openings of the rainforest. Doll's Eye It's kind of like having red stems full of eyes looking back at you. That should be enough to warn you away. But if that's not enough to scare you off, the white berries of this plant could potentially kill you. They contain enough cardiogenic toxins to produce symptoms including dizziness and hallucination, which could lead to eventual cardiac arrest and death. And while the berries pose the greatest hazard, the entire plant is poisonous to humans, even producing blisters if it touches the skin. Birds, however, are immune to the deadly effects and serve to disperse the plant's seeds. Did you know that the black spot, or pupil, on the berry is actually a scar created by the pointed end of a stalk early in its growth cycle? Purple Jelly Disc Fungus There is no denying that when you first see this organism, it bears a resemblance to intestines especially when the gelatinous mass has been moistened by dew or rain. The jelly-like fungus grows in clusters on a variety of deadwood tree trunks and branches. At first, it looks like sphere-shaped lobes, but as it matures, those lobes flatten out into a saucer shape. Forming into clusters, they take on that intestine appearance, and the mass can assume a rope-like shape, stretching to around 8 inches long. Another common name for the fungus is jelly dewdrop, but it's considered inedible and exhibits no odor or taste. Bleeding Tooth Fungus It's more formerly known as Hydnellum pecky, but its common name seems more than appropriate, since it looks like someone lost a bloody tooth. Just as descriptive is another nickname, Strawberries and Cream. It does look like some sort of pastry covered with strawberry jam, but even though the fungus isn't toxic, it's also not edible, and that's due to its extremely bitter taste. The red, sticky substance is actually a sap that oozes out of the pores of the cap at night. Excess moisture builds up in the roots and forces the sap out, something that only happens when the fungus is young. Devil Fingers Mushroom The name is inspired by the mature form of the mushroom, which can have up to eight finger-like shapes. Colored fire engine red, the fingers are covered with black spheres that look like the suckers of octopus tentacles. The black shapes are known as gleba. They attract flies by emitting a stench similar to rotting flesh. The insects will disperse the spores as they fly off. The bad odor has also led to the fungus being called the octopus stinkhorn. Did you know that before the mushroom develops the red coloration, it starts off as a white, egg-like bulb buried in the soil? When the white fingers burst out of the ground, they actually resemble the hands of a corpse clawing out of its grave. When the fingers mature, they stand upright to around four inches high and spread around eight inches wide. 